Hello everybody, and good day to you all today. I am talking about Siren, season number two, episode number six, The Stress Call, the episode was directed by David Grossman. And here we have a lot of things going down. Okay, now now we have Maddie from last episode trying to help out her mother clean up her mess. Her mother left her wedding wing inside this drug dealer's house, drug dealer's um, I guess hotel room named Glenn. And Maddie went there to get it. Glenn was Glenn was in the room. Everything was good. She found the ring. She was going to leave. Glenn decides to not let Maddie leave, and then he attacks her and tries to hurt her. And then Ren comes in, seeing Maddie's in trouble, and 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 about maybe maybe possibly might die. Grabs Glenn and breaks his neck, kills him. So now we have a situation going on because what Ren did wasn't really wrong. She it was self defense. She was actually she protected Maddie. Saved, she saved her life. But now they got a lot of stuff to explain, like how did he die? Then it's going to connect to her mother. They're going to who killed them. They're going to connect to Ren. Then people going to find them about mermaids, and then they're going to get her crazy, and then things going to go crazy from there. So they freak out for a moment, but then, their, but then their mom sees the body. She says, "Call your dad. Call your dad now." And then that they call their father. He sees what's happening, and then that he then that. He talks to Ren to get an idea what was going on because he knows Ren's going to tell him the truth. And then he, she, he, she tells him everything. And he, then he explains to her that she can't just go around killing everybody. Even though what she did wasn't technically wrong, but she just can't kill the people. You got you to think before you before you act. I I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that you saved my daughter's life. I'm always be grateful for that. But you see, because my daughter's something bad, you can't just, just kill him. So, so now he has to clean up the mess by covering it up. Which is really messed up because he's just, well, he was the sheriff, but he's the ex sheriff. Possibly might be the sheriff again. And so, since he knows how the police, the police work works, he knows how to cover up a crime, and so that's what he does. This people that not only to save his daughter, but to save Ren, and also to save his wife, who brought this mess in in, in the first place. Oh, oh. Then you have Ben. He's helping out Xander because Xander had a plan with one of the mermaids to, um, <clears throat> with um with 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 Katrina to ca capture Levi, bring him to him, Le and then he, then he'll kill Levi, and then he'll help to get to the ocean, which he can't do. He has no power over that. But he all he want to do is kill Levi. But Katrina doesn't trust any humans at all, and so she pretty much screws him over too. Even though he he didn't get what he wanted, he didn't get Levi. But he got screwed over in the process. So, yay for you, buddy. And then you have his, his then you have his girlfriend, Nicole, spying on them because she's investigating the whole mermaid situation. She's a part of that. I guess she, I'm not sure she's trying to get him back or I'm not sure what her, what her, what her, what her um, plan is supposed to be, but she's just, but she's she's just on her spy mission to find find out about the mermaids. And well, she finds her mermaids in this episode here. Then you have what's going on with Helen. Looks like Helen got a boyfriend now. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Because see, last episode, she went to the tank and she saw um Sarge in the tank. And she she said how beautiful he was. And then and that for the moment he connected. And so he followed her home and said he wants to stay with her. What does that mean? I don't know. Possibly have a baby with her? Uh, maybe. I don't know. He likes her, she likes him, and so why not? I mean, he's a full mermaid, and she's a descendant of a mermaid, so, eh, oh. And then you have Katrina, who's pretty much drawing the line in the sand. She hates Ren. She, she hates she, everything she stands for. She's not like that Ren is so close to humans. And so now she's trying to, she's pretty much ready to start a war. And she's like, anybody with Ren is going to die. You want to to live? Stay with me, because we're a family. Humans suck. So if, if, any, anybody who would have with the humans, they're going to die. But because of what Ren, what happened with Ren, and the things she experienced, and the fact that she killed a human, and the things she learned, because the thing is though, Ren has been around humans the most. And she, she had the best experience from humans, because she met Ben and she met Maddie. And so to her, all humans are not that bad. Even though she has seen some bad things humans have done, she still got Ben and Maddie. And so that's like her main example. And I think that's why she loved them so much. A lot. And so she's seen the good side. And then you have um, Katrina, who's mostly just sees the bad in humans. And so therefore, 
she wants to, she's starting a war, but you got Rin, who has been around humans, seen how things work, learn know a little bit more, and understands that this war that she wants to make, all it's going to do is get them killed. They find a way to compromise and come together, which is quite beautiful. So overall, that's a pretty good episode altogether. Watching um, how, how Katrina evolved and grown into a better person this episode. I'm watching the connection between um, Sarge and Helen. Where does it want to go? I don't know. I don't know yet. Also, if things got revealed, we found out more about Ben and his family and, and the, the connection they have to the, to the, to the people who, who bought the drill for oil in, in, the, in the waters, which killed off, killed off a lot of whales and stuff like that, too. And, it, and, it, and it's going to cause Ben to go to a more extreme route to stop this situation, which may make things even worse or better. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he, cause the thing is, though, he wants to save the ocean and save the animals in it. And he also wants to save the mermaids, too, so they can go back home and, and be free. That way everybody can be happy. But he tried talking to his father in a silver way and, and not listening to him. So he's, he's decided to go into an like extreme route. Oh boy. So like I said, yeah, a lot of things happened in this episode. Things got revealed. Um, problems got solved. Hopefully it doesn't come back and bite him in the butt, especially for the sheriff. Because he covered up a crime. So, uh, I know. So, overall, pretty good. Great, great episode. The acting, everything is always fantastic, and I really like the, the actors who play the play the mermaids. The way they the way they had them talk and the dialogue that they do, and the way they act and react and react to people, because they they still primal. They still got the primal and in, in, instincts in them, like with the, the, the fight or flight situation, or and so how they re respond to things, either like to attack it or befriend it. I guess in a way, because see. The way, they, the way they react to each other in the ocean is totally different than they are on land. And the, and, the, and the same rules don't apply on land. They still try to figure that out. And watching how they react to people and how they learn is very, very interesting. Because, they, because they're they learning the language. They're learning how to respond to people. And, and watching their connections is, is quite beautiful. So overall, like I said, great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Siren. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Take, take my word for it. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it like I always say in my dreams in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.